Hi guys, this is the seventh part of Angular 16 crash course. And in this part, I'm going to be talking about very important topic again called the dependency injection. And for using the dependency injection and understanding it, I'll be having to create services in Angular. Dependency injection is a design pattern or a way to separate out the creation of the objects and usage of that object okay so for that i'm gonna go and i have created this new project services di and inside it this is the html by default given which i'll just be removing everything from it so it will not show anything over here all right so let's go to our typescript file and we have this title over here so first of all in the last video just like i created the pipe file using the ng command in my terminal i'll be using the services file using the ng command in the terminal as well okay that is very convenient and it will automatically be adding its references in our uh, module files so for that i'm gonna be using the ng in my terminal and then g for generate we can use the shortcut and s for services i'll be creating a new folder to make it look nicer and then i will be actually creating let's say that uh, messages which is the name of service all right and uh, this s is referring to this service that I want to create a service file and every kind of file is appended with the dot service dot ts and in the previous file you remember that when we created a pipe it was with the dot pipe dot ts and similar to the component that we have this dot component dot ts and this is how angular is structured all right and for this service we actually need to go to our module file and we need to add its reference in the provider if we want this service to be available in all of the child component but we can also add its reference in the component uh, in which we want to use it and for that we can actually use the providers array directly in our component okay and then i will be writing the messages service which have been created so it will be automatically imported at the top if you are using vs code so now we can use this service in this component service is basically used to create any kind of utility functions we can use it for calling an api to access the data we can use the services to share data between multiple components and these things i'll be showing you in the upcoming videos okay so here in, let's go to our message.service.ts file and uh, we are actually going to create a function inside it so let's say that i'm going to create get messages which is the function okay and then i'm simply going to return an object for now okay so let's say that i'm going to write the message one and then i'm going to write the message two and then the message three all right so i'm just going to save it now how to use this service in other components we actually need to create its object and the process of creating this object in other components uh, is actually called dependency injection in angular mainly okay so each class in angular comes with the constructors if you remember and learn the object oriented programming in typescript javascript or any other language constructor is basically used to instantiate any object of a class okay since this is the class already created using the component decorator and this class we can actually initialize it with the component uh, constructor keyword actually so i can use the constructor and inside it i can use that service directly over here okay so this process of using the services creating its object is called dependency injection okay so we have actually created its instance and we can actually use this object to call and access any kind of information that we have created directly in this service okay it can be variable it can be any function we have written inside it all right so we can actually directly call use this messages service in this constructor or we can come outside this constructor and use it in any other function or also in the uh, lifecycle hook functions all right so now i will be using the messages service and then it automatically showing that it contains the get messages function actually so it's not returning observable which i'll be showing you in next video uh, so we can actually show this in a separate variable so i'll be creating another variable so let's say that the messages and uh, it is of type string array 
and initially it is empty and then I can use this dot messages equals to now whenever this component is going to get loaded constructor is automatically going to get called and then this messages service is going to get uh, initialized and then using this messages service we can actually call any of the function and the updated data is being stored in the messages all right so let's go to our html and inside it we can directly print the messages variable through interpolation and uh, in my terminal i'll simply hit npm run start and it should actually show these values which i have written in this service function all right and let me refresh and now you can see that it has actually shown me message one message two message three so i have shown you how we can create service file and how we can create its object in a component or a multiple component where that we can use and the process that uh, the concept of dependency injection in angular and how we can utilize it in our components all right so i hope that you have got an idea it was a simple example but again when i will be building some projects during this crash course i will be using this services and initializing its uh, object a lot of time and at a lot of places i hope that you have liked this video if you have liked don't forget to subscribe my channel hit the like button comment below if you have any question